Oh yeah! International Stacker! Let's break into this. There's some cool silver in there. Gosh dang it! Gosh dang it! Alright, here we go. Oh, I'm gonna rip it. Huh, that wasn't packaged that well, guys. Wow, that wasn't packaged that well. That could have been bad. All right, see what I got here. I don't even remember exactly what I got. So it looks like I got one dos pesos. And I forget how much I paid for this. I'll put here the prices and what spot was at the time. I know I paid $18 for this. Um, which isn't super cheap, but it's cheaper than a lot of them are going right now. And this is in pretty great condition. So I'm happy with that. Um... For this, I paid a dollar over spot for this half. That's an amazing price. A dollar over spot, $8.99. So we're off to a good start. I think the rest of this is going to be constitutional. You got some constitutional here. Okay, so it looks like we've got a bunch of mercantiles, mercury dimes. I call them mercantiles for short. Let's see what we got here. This is my favorite um, design by far, guys. So I'm really trying to load the boat on them. 1920, wow. You guys, if only these dimes could talk. Let's see if there's any really good specimens in here. It must... I feel like the coin designs back during this time... And even pre-33, we're so much better than nowadays. What do you guys think? And I'm not talking about for special limited edition, like, release. I'm talking just normal circulated dimes. I mean, like, how cool are these? Let's take a look. Do you guys like Mercs? I'll, cup, I'll grab a couple samples. That was a 1940. 1920, and you guys, spot price broke $21 today. Um, when I bought these, I often look what spot price was, but I think it was like probably $19. So, <laughs> it's amazing. You guys, I'm so used to buying coins. I go through these so fast. So I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, after we open this last package, I'll, I'll hold those closer again so you can see them. But I'm kind of like desensitized, I guess, just because I see so many. So, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that looks like a good one. 1944, World War II, huh? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's two dollars. And I want to say I paid fourteen twenty-five face. So for each, so if you don't know how they sell constitutional silver also known as 90 percent also known as junk silver how they sold is by each dollar face so for this one dollar of dimes i paid 14 dollars and i believe 25 cents if if that's wrong i'll correct it but i believe that's what it was so for each of these i paid 14 dollars and 25 cents so we got 320 there what's in here i think can i get some apps you guys i really do not remember What the? Oh! Wow, I forgot. I got a bunch of uh, Canadian silver. 1965. 65, these are quarters. 66, 65. Oh, I got his fingerprint. He left his fingerprint on the coin. So that's one dollar. Man, it felt weird when it came out. It feels weird. 65, 64, 65, 66. So it's a $2 face. Canadian. 65 and a 63. Man, are these proofs, guys? All my Canadian friends and subscribers, are these 
I just went BU. I mean, I guess they're BU, but they're super shiny. We got some dimes. Let's see what years these are. Now, Canadian coins, guys. I um, have to look at the percentage of these. Oh, this is like a bison. It says 1867 to 1967. So 67, 67. I forget the percentage of this, so I'll look it up and put it in the thing. 67. 67. But why are these in crazy shape? How do these last so long for this shape? So I got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 cents face the dimes. So I got 1, 2, 3, 50, uh, like 430, $4.30. Cents. And this kind of reminds me of like a fin finish coin with the fish thing. Is that? I mean, I always assumed it was a fish. Yeah, it's a fish. Or is it? Yeah, it's a fish. All right, so let me show you these again. This is a really cool Mexican coin. I've been picking up a lot of these lately. Look at that, 1922. Un peso. And the cool thing about these older Mexican coins, they tell you the percentage, look, 0 0.720. So this is 72% silver. At least I got it in a cool coin case, I guess. And this is the peace dollar. And look, the V in the trust is V for victory. I mean, the U. The U is a V for victory. And there was some drama with the original design of the peace dollar. They said it was too peaceful. And it made, like, America not look good. They wanted it to be, still look tough. So they did a redesign of the peace dollar. I'm not sure what the original looked like. But um, these and Morgans are, you know frequently sold together or you know people would like to get them because they're both uh silver old silver dollars obviously morgans were before like old from old west times on up um i like morgans better than peace dollars but i thought 18 dollars on that peace dollar especially to <laughs> now today's prices was awesome what do you guys think is 18 on that good would you guys all pay 18 for that let me know let me know if you pay 18 and then this is a barber half so this would have been before the um, Walking Liberty half. So before Walking Liberty, we had Barber halves, we had Barber quarters, and we had Barber dimes. The Barber dimes would have been before the Mercury, and the Barber quarters, I believe, would have been before the Standing Liberty quarter. So I got this a dollar both spot. We can still see some detail. We can also almost see the letters there. So that's pretty good condition. And I'll tell you a story how I got this. So um, I was negotiating back and forth, and he originally wanted like $5 over spot for this. I said, no, thanks, man. I'll just go with this stuff. He's like, all right, dude. So he shipped it to me, and he's like, oh, he's like, epic fail. He's like, I forgot that I had left the barber uh, with the coins, and I boxed them all up, and I sent you the barber. He's like, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to do that. He's like, you know, he's like, you could just have it since it's my mistake, or if you want, you could pay me spot. So I told him, look, man, I'll give you spot plus a dollar just to be a little bit more fair. And he was happy with that because he told me I could just keep it. So I tried to kind of do the right thing. <laughs> I was not paying spot plus five, okay? But I kind of, I tried to do the right thing. So I, I, I did spot and offered him an extra dollar. You know, we sometimes we got to look out for each other. It's not always cutthroat, you know, collecting uh, coins, so... He was happy with that, and I got a good deal, which was cool. But yeah, I like the I, like, I do like the Barber halves, but nothing is gonna beat these Mercury dimes. I really like these. So, what do you guys think of the recent price action? Twenty one dollars. I put out a poll at the beginning of the week, asking if we we're gonna break twenty by Friday. Someone said we're gonna break twenty five. I mean, I don't think that. I'm fully expecting a pullback, and I actually have a video coming on that soon. Um, so keep your eyes out. But um, I am not buying silver right now. This is probably the last order I'll buy for a while. Uh, I'm going to wait and see what happens. Um, but traditionally, whenever silver does really well, uh, the paper market or the banksters or whoever you think is doing it smashes it down. And you generally get a pullback. So hopefully, I'm going to take my original advice on my disaster preparedness video. If you guys didn't watch it, check that video out. You really need to be prepared. But I'm going to take from advice from that and just stack, stockpile some cash right now and then wait and see what happens. Um, I'm not ready for silver to make its ultimate move. A lot of people think this is it. I, I'm not convinced. 
Um, but a lot of people think silver's about to make its ultimate move. Um, I'm not ready for that, guys. I have a lot more silver to stack. And I think we're going to have more stimulus coming. Um, you know, I was talking to Yankee Stacking earlier about this, actually, and he thinks the same thing. We have more stimulus coming, um, which might drop the price on gold and silver again. And frankly, I want silver and gold to drop a lot because I'm not done collecting. I want to get a lot more. So that's where my mind is. And also, too, you know, if gold and silver are going buck wild, that means America's not doing well, which sucks. And I don't want that to happen. But we all know the problems with paper fiat currency not backed by anything. We all know the problems of a debt-based system, which is the main reason a lot of us stack. So, unfortunately... Um, when we end up being proven right, which I fully believe we will be, otherwise I wouldn't be into it as much as I am. Um, unfortunately it's going to mean a lot of people are getting hurt and the U S is getting hurt. So I guess our mission, ladies and gentlemen, is to tell as many people, as many stack or, or get as many people out there into stacking as possible. By all means, don't tell them you're stacking and tell them you have a bunch of gold and silver in your house, but share a video. Ask somebody if they ever heard of coin collect. I don't know. But we got to get this out there to the masses. So maybe make a YouTube channel. Make some videos. I don't know. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe because a ton of you are not subscribed. Smash the like button. Help me beat the YouTube algorithm, please. Share this video and I'll say catch you on the next one. Woo! One stacker.